おはようございます。So it is another early start to the morning here in Japan. Today we have made it all the way to Totori Prefecture where we have heard secretly that there is a Wagyu beef bowl available for under $5. So today we are going to go and eat some beef. But before doing that, you can't come to Totori without visiting Japan's only desert. Apparently, the desert has been created over time from rocks going into the sea and being collected by the wind. And it seems like this place is no stranger to some bad weathering. We've had nothing but rain, so it could be a bit soggy out there today, but there's only one way to find out. So let's go see some sand. It's finally sunny. <laughs> We've had days of wind and rain and even hail, <laughs> but. This desert has desert weather, apparently. The one place in Totori that is not raining this morning, thank God. It's just there. Oh. Like oh. a big beach. Big, really wide beach. The good thing is it's been raining, so not yeah. dry, so it's better. Yeah, but I did have dreams about like rolling down these sand dunes, and now that it's raining, I'm not sure I want to. But look, okay, okay, it's huge, okay. it's huge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Japan's desert, Totori sand dunes. Yeah. Because I didn't see the mountain from there, so I was like, oh, just a beach. Yeah, I know. But I from like, here, it's like whales. Yeah, from here, like so high, it's huge. That's so alien looking, isn't it? These people look like tiny little ants. Can't believe this is in Japan. I've never been here. It's weird though that there's a sea behind it because it does kind of just look like a really huge beach. But that's kind of how all of the sand came here and it kind of flew in as well. I just read something over there. They said all the residents had problems with like sand blowing into their houses and stuff. I guess they actually have sandstorms here, but these little wooded grid bits are supposed to sort of help stop that. But luckily today, no wind, the sun is finally shining. It feels almost desert like. <laughs> Look at all those footprints. You can see it's like super steep. I think we gotta get over there and see it for ourselves. But the crowd. Ooh, you can see it's like raining over the sea. Like sunny, scary, sunny. <laughs> it's a lot further than it looks. <laughs> Don't fall, don't fall. Is it raining? Is it? Stop it, oh god, it is. Because of that. It's raining. Oh my god, I can't make it up there running. It's huge. Huge. This way, too. Oh yeah, what? We can't away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I can't, I literally can't. <laughs> but if you don't have energy or willpower to run up and down this thing. They apparently do have camel rides and also you can go sandboarding here but yeah. because of the weather it doesn't look like anyone's up for it or maybe we're too early for the camel or it has the hump. I don't know. <sighs> no sign of one yet. This is actually like desert. It's so steep. Yeah, <laughs> It's weird, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, not quite what I expected from a, a visit to the desert, but I guess this is Japan and not the Sahara or something. But it's weird, when you first come in here, it looks very much just like a regular beach with just a bit more sand. But coming here to this point, in the middle, right? seeing that scale, that is nuts. <laughs> this is Japan! <laughs> right, you got your energy back? <laughs> これ、これ、ワークアウト。ボクサーの最高の環境感も。めちゃめちゃいい。I'm <笑> Yeah, the wind's all being blocked by the sand, I think. Man, it's kawaii, ne? Surfing, you can go, this. Uh-huh. I'm not sure I'd want to bring a surfboard up and down this, though, would you? I'm not sure I'd want to Wow. Actually, it's really steep. It's like a cliff. But you can do sandboarding here. It must be so scary. Yeah. Kawaii, ne? Kawaii. Wow, it's 
砂漠から山が見えるっていうのが変、まあ、砂漠っていうか砂丘かいやあっちはどうぞでもこれ山が見えるってなんか不思議アクションで You can see the rain いやあっつかめんつかめんやばいやばいなあれあれ来たらちょっとやばいなあと少し滞在してるここが<笑>いやいやいやいやうわ This side This side is so high too It's scary I'm scared こんな来た俺らうわいやばい Time to get down on my butt like this ハハハハハハ最高のタイミング。行きましょう Oh my god, how cool is that? Oh, <gasps> that oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Sun true! Snap Pokemon to you! Welcome to Japan's desert! We have arrived at the Waikiki Reef place. So, the reason that we are up so early is because this place, Masashige, only serves 10 of these Waikiki beef bowls in a day. Now, a little known fact is that Totori is actually the home of Wagyu beef, and that is the beef that. Is massaged and sung to and whatever, but it's super rare. It only accounts for 0.7% of all of the Wagyu beef in Japan. So we are here bright and early to beat the crowds before it opens and gets sold out. There's literally no one around. So not only is it really, really impressive that they have Wagyu beef, the impressive thing is is that it's only 680 yen. That, for my British friends, is about four pounds or about $4.98. $4.98. So it is incredibly cheap for something that is so rare, so delicious, and I am so hungry and ready for it. <laughs> We have about 10 minutes until the shop opens. We're that keen. Are you starving? Yep. お願いしますはいよし、来たぞフラッグ立ちましたこのもいけんじゃねえかあと30秒よし、よし、行こう So, we've just come into this cute little private room. They've given us a tablet to order on, and they have today's lunch menu. So, let's see if it's there. Do you have it? Yes. Yes. Omori and normal day. Ja. Ima. Yes. So, the beef that they use here is this special beef called Orien. Orien? Orien? Orien. Orien 55. Apparently, only 16% of all Totori beef is classified as this special beef. The reason for its name, 55, is that 55% of the fat is oleic acid, which is the same as olive oil. So, it's supposed to be especially juicy and very light, melt in mouth kind of situation. I'm so excited. Well, actually, this is a yakiniku shop, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. But for lunch, they have this only 10, only here. So special. Such good value for money. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, actually, they have no like only lunch menu, like wow. wagyu, nigiri, <laughs> like sashimi style. Sashimi wagyu. I mean, look at the price difference. That's just for two. Yeah, but so this is more expensive. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, wow. But wow. I think that's still cheap too. I mean, it must be. Another fun fact for you is that in Japan, this beef is actually the most expensive. So it's a steal. Namen do something. I am so ready for this. I'm so hungry. All that running, all that sand. Thank you. My stomach is so empty that I think anything would taste good right now, but this is delicious. <laughs> yes. Right? Mm -hmm. That is massive. It is massive. So it's like, yeah. Size comparison. Massive. I messed up. But I think your eyes are probably bigger than your stomach because this plus still, still plus the soup. Yeah. Plus the size is totally enough. Oh, it smells so good. You can see there are bits of fat, but it doesn't look like I don't know, there's something different about it, so let's do a taste test to confirm, shall we? Yeah. Thank you. I like you. Totori ore. 55. Melt in the mouth fat. <laughs> so good. <laughs> like, as I said, I think because we haven't eaten anything, because we've been running up and down those sand dunes, anything would probably taste tasty, but this is why you. This is a beef ball with a difference. This is just yum. Yeah, but so good. It's stewed like perfectly. Oh. <laughs> Quick, right? <laughs> Mmm, almost like sweet. Yeah, oh, that's probably the stew. But meat itself is so sweet. Melts in a second. <laughs> Can't believe this is 680 yen. I mean, yours is a bit more expensive because you got the big size. But <laughs> mm. It would taste really good with an egg on top, don't you think? But you guys, I think you can with it. I mean, it's enough as it is. 680 yen. Like, that's like. Fast food chain prices. Yeah, actually. The amount you get is so good. Okay. So hot, actually. That's the really good part for me. Probably hot beef. I think the tare goes to kome rice. Mm. So, little changes. Red ginger. Mecha iro shiteru ne. <laughs> you waited all morning for this. You must get used to the ganji. I can understand why they only sell 10. It doesn't make sense to sell this cheap price, but I just. You can see some of that fat around. So, most gyudon beef bowl does have those little like fatty bits, but it's not greasy, is it? Just a water. Just Basically, that. I think if you grilled it on the yakiniku, it would be done in like seconds. I'd be yeah. scared to like overdo it, actually. <laughs> I'm happy it's been made for us. They've done it perfectly. Yeah. I just had a bit of the fat, like a big bit of the fat, and it is like noticeably sweeter than. Uh, Yakini? Yeah. I mean, you can't see all of the like marbling and stuff because it's already cooked, but it's in there. I think it does kind of change the flavor, makes the beef sweeter, maybe. Yeah, normally you avoid the eat. Yeah, right? Well, all of it is tasty. Mm. Mm. I mean, I'm satisfied just eating this, but I can't even imagine the whole other level of deliciousness that you get when you eat it and you cook it yourself. The smell as well, like... I'm ruining the flavor now probably by adding things, but just out of curiosity. Tinniku, uh -huh. garlic.
<laughs> so I'm out. I don't even know what that is. It's like, yeah, garlic but spicy. Eh? It's a bit of 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 a happy boy told <laughs> from the wagyu. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but the best six hundred eighty yen I ever spent in I don't know how long. I'm a happy girl. <laughs> uh. I'm so incredibly full. But it's just <laughs> stupidly good value for money. I don't know how they managed to sell it that cheap, but I guess by only selling 10 a day, they attract crazy people like us. As we were leaving, they already said that they were sold out. So I guess they yeah. are making money by selling other things afterwards. But I'm very thankful that we came here early. We saw the sand dunes. We made ourselves hungry, ready for this moment. <laughs> 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 it was awesome. If you have enjoyed our travels today and want to fill up our stomachs and our hearts, then of course you can help us travel around and eat more good stuff by checking out our coffee page or our YouTube membership page. And we will see you for more adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss out on any of them. <laughs> Hi,